Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to talk about a common skin condition that is known as rain rot. If you are having issues with your Doco Argentino's skin, stay tuned. So in today's episode, we're discussing rain rot, which is also known as mud fever. And the technical term, I gotta look at it, dermatophilus congolensis. And this is a bacteria. And it's a bacteria that's common in the environment. And it's a bacteria that's common on dogs' skin, also other livestock like horses, sheep, etc. And much like yeast, what it looks for is an opportunity and when it finds that opportunity, it explodes. Now it is not a fungus. However, it acts a lot like a fungus. And so we're going to go through some of the conditions and some of the ways to recognize it and also one of the products you can use to treat it. But as always, if you haven't been here before, welcome, I'm Nicole. I am a Dogo Argentino enthusiast. I am not a vet. So this should not be construed as veterinary advice. If you are concerned, take your Dogo Argentino to the vet. Okay, so this is actually a bacteria. So it falls into the kingdom of viruses and protozoa. It is not a fungus, but a lot of things about it act like a fungus and they cause problems in the Dogo Argentino skin. If you don't know much about Dogo Argentinos, they are a magnificent, beautiful white hunting breed and they hail from Argentina. They were brought to the United States in 1970 and they still remain quite rare. They were first accepted into AKC only last year, so there are not a lot of them. Now, if you don't know, Dogo Argentinos in general tend to have a lot of skin problems and rain rot, also known as mud scald, is one of the problems that sometimes plagues them. And you will more often see it in dogs that spend large amounts of time outdoors. So hunting dogs, working dogs, and it tends to show up in dogs more often in the spring and summer and in locations where humidity is always high. So much like yeast, is present on the skin all the time and looks for an opportunity. And when the conditions are right, it creates a bloom and then you have a problem. And you will know that you have yeast when you see a very rusty color fur, often between the Dogo Argentino's toes and sometimes on the chin. So this bacteria acts a whole lot like a fungus, even though it isn't. And it is frequently misdiagnosed as a fungus, even though it isn't. So what yeast does is it looks for conditions to be right, and then it will invade the skin and cause an infection by an overgrowth of itself. And the bacteria acts exactly the same way. It's looking for conditions to be right. It can be benignly present on the skin for nine months out of the year, and then for the rest of the time, you can have a horrible problem with it. It basically is encouraged by excessive moisture on the skin, which is why hunting dogs and dogs that spend a lot of time outdoors without shelter often will get this particular condition because moisture is one of the activators for this particular bacteria. And unfortunately, it is often mistaken as ringworm, which is a fungus, not a worm. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what's up. Um, so in ringworm, you often get scabs and scales and you will get fur loss from that. Now, rot, it looks a lot like that, but it almost always has open sores, oozing lesions, and it will also have scabs. So much like a fungus, what this particular bacteria does is it spreads out a thin thread-like filament similar to a tentacle or a taproot, and it looks for an area to take hold. And if the dog has some other problems, it allows it to get into the skin more easily. So if your dog has mosquito bites, if your dog has cuts and scrapes, those are just little places that this particular bacteria can invade the skin and reproduce more frequently. So when you have an overgrowth of this particular bacteria, you will notice first it will create kind of like a lesion, it will get scabby, and then you will get fur loss, which is why people often mistake it to be other types of things such as black skin disease, alopecia X, 
um, ringworm. It looks like a lot of different things. And because it's present all the time, it can be hard to diagnose if you take it to the vet and they do a skin scrape because this bacteria is always present. So it's hard to know, oh, it's actually present too much when it's always there. So it's very opportunistic and it loves humidity. It loves insect bites. It loves small cuts. Again, that's why we find it in Doco Argentinos that spend a lot of time outdoors. And is it contagious? It's absolutely contagious. It's contagious to humans. It's contagious to other animals. It's very, very contagious. So do be aware. So the treatment is not exactly pleasant, but what, it, what you can do is definitely have it diagnosed for certain because the treatment is unpleasant. But what you're going to do once you get a positive diagnosis through a skin scrape, you are going to start by giving the Dogo Argentino a rock salt bath. They're not going to love this. And that salt, you just, you apply light pressure, especially over the oozy wounds, which is why the dog is not going to love it because you're literally rubbing salt into open wounds. But you're trying to get the scabs off the skin because the bacteria is present in those scabs. And it's actually recommended that you wear gloves, that you wear uh, clear glasses, goggles or something because it is highly contagious. And it's recommended that you actually burn anything that comes into contact with those scabs. So if you drop it on a towel, that towel's out of there. You've got to burn the scabs. It's really, really, really contagious and that you should disinfect everything that comes in contact with it. The bathroom, if you're doing it inside, you know, you just don't want this because it is so, so contagious. So what you're going to do once you get the scabs removed is you're going to treat it with a product that's generally used in horses, but you can definitely use it in dogs and it's called Derma Magic. And Dermamagic Skin Rescue Lotion is what you're after. Now, once you do that bathing process and you get the scabs physically off the skin using a salt bath, you clean the dog up, you rinse the dog, you're going to apply the Dermamagic. So for the first week, you're going to do it two times a day for one entire week. For the second week, you're gonna do it once a day. And that should help really knock it down. Now, I do recommend, and I've said it before, make sure that you are getting this diagnosed from a vet before you do it and that they do a skin scrape because just looking is not enough because it looks so much like other problems such as ringworm, such as black skin disease, and such as alopecia X. So definitely have it checked out, but that should actually knock it out of the skin, help it out. I am going to put a graphic warning, a picture of this, Uh, fair use. This picture is from the internet. Uh, my dogs have never had this, thankfully. But it is common to dogs that get skin problems. And as we know, Dogo Argentinos get skin problems. So hopefully that will help you if you are discovering these kinds of situations with your dog and give you something to ask about because Dogo Argentinos are prone to allergies and they are prone to all kinds of skin problems like this bacterial infection. So if you like content like this, help a lady out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. So every time I release a video, you're aware of it. I hope you guys have been enjoying the many shorts that I have been showing watching my Dogo Argentinos play. This is a channel where I try to do both education and appreciation. I am absolutely loving the new short feature because it's easy and quick for me to do. And as you guys know, I own several businesses which take up lots of time and I'm actually starting a new business. I've talked about it before and so I don't have as much time to edit videos which is why my educational content has died down and also you're gonna see, let's be honest, lower production value because I don't have time to edit lots and lots of things so you're gonna get my mistakes and my more raw videos so that you can enjoy some educational content and just understand I don't consider myself an expert. I am an enthusiast and I make mistakes when I talk about things. So it is what it is. But I do want to thank you guys. We have been having a tremendous uptick in views in part because of the many shorts that I've been putting out. So have a Dogo Tastic day and thank you for your time, energy, and effort. And welcome to the Dogo Argentino family. Ciao.